Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking a lot about hidden costs of a greenhouse. And I want to tell everybody something that I kind of learned the hard way and that is how much a greenhouse cost. Yes, you get the amount when you order one and I'm going to show you mine. Yes, you get that amount and that's great, but there's so much other stuff that goes along with it that I think a lot of people need to know. I'm going to share that with you right now. Stick around. Okay, so I have a planta greenhouse, okay? I'm gonna put the link below. I wanna say right now, I absolutely, unequivocally love this greenhouse, okay? When I was out shopping for some, it really wasn't a choice for me. I'd heard such great things about planta. I'm not endorsed by them. I just love their product. So I wanna tell you, I went out and did my research and looked at a couple of other ones. I've got friends that have some hoop houses and some other things, and I looked at those, but I wanted something long-term. So the one that I have right here is a 10 by 26 and I paid $4,200 for it, okay, $4,200. So I want everybody to understand when you're saying $4,200, that is not the cost of the greenhouse. It's the cost for it to get here. On top of that, Planta has a great deal where they'll ship it to a place and you can go get it or you can pay a little bit more and have it brought to your house with a big freight truck. I did that. That was an additional $425 to have it brought to my house, okay? So already we're up to $4,600, $4,650, okay? So that is just to have the greenhouse delivered. I bought a couple of accessories with that. One of the accessories that I bought because we live in the south of the U.S. was shade cloth. Okay, so I bought about $300 worth of 50-50 shade cloth to put on top of that. On top of that as well, I also bought some vent windows that are heat activated by the heat. I paid 50, 60 a piece for those. I got five, 250 on top of that. So I tell you that, and you're not gonna see those on this greenhouse because I didn't put them in. Be very careful when you're buying stuff for the greenhouse because what I realized after I bought the vent windows is I'm not here enough to be able to monitor this every minute of the day. So a cost measure that I would say to save money is don't get your vent windows if you live in a windy area or if this is not your full-time job. If you are on the homestead every single day and you have the time to come up here when a windstorm comes or a tornado comes out, out of unexpected and lower those windows, then that's fine. But I will tell you right now, if you install those heat activated um, windows on your greenhouse and you pay money for them, and like we are here in Alabama and a tornado comes out of nowhere and I'm out of town working and those windows go up, I'm gonna lose them. They're gonna be ripped right off. So with all of that being said, I've got $250 worth of windows that I bought up in the top of my barn. I will not use because I just didn't think about that until I got back here and one of my daughters said, how are you gonna handle that if the window goes up and we have a tornado? I had no idea. So looking at that, 4,200 for the greenhouse. Uh, then I had uh, 425 for the um, delivery. I did 300 for the shade cloth and 250 for that, for the uh, windows. So we're looking at a good amount already on top, well over $1,000 of what I was quoted for the greenhouse. Okay, one of the most important things you're gonna need no matter where you live even if you live in South Florida, there are going to be times when you're going to need a heater in your greenhouse. I know that may sound crazy, especially for people that live in the tropic areas, but you know, we're in Alabama and most people think of Alabama as being sweltering hot and it is. We had temps down into the uh, three and four about, uh, I don't know, Christmas weekend. So you're gonna need that. Now, here are the heaters that I have and I wanna show you the first one which is wonderful. This is a bio green, okay? This is fantastic. It has some tips on the side that you can use. It has a blower. I'm not gonna really go deep into this. I'm just gonna tell you this is what everybody recommends out on the web, okay? This little heater will heat about half of this. I thought because we lived in Alabama, I wouldn't need a big heater. It was mainly for if I lived in Wisconsin or somewhere where it's really cold. So I bought this. It also comes with a thermostat uh, Izzy, can you come down and show the thermostat? It also comes with this thermostat right here that you can control when the temp drops or not. 
So these two right here with this and this combined is about $170 on Amazon. Okay, this heats half of the greenhouse. I went up to see my dad. He had some extra space heaters. He's older and he likes the house extremely hot. And he had one of these and he lost the remote control on. I asked him if I could have it. This would probably be the only thing that I will ever buy again to heat. This is fantastic. It is made by Lasco, L-A-S-K-O. Um, this is about a hundred bucks at the most. It's got a thermostat on it. This thing pumps out some heat. It's also got a little thing right here where I can control up and down. So your heater costs you have to look at are gonna be, you know, with the small heater, you could buy two. That's gonna be $250, $300 with shipping to get here. You're gonna have to have two thermostats and all that. This is less than a hundred. So you could buy two of the small ones with the thermostat, it'd be 240. You can get two of these and you can get this at the big box. You can get off Amazon. I can put a link at the uh, below, roughly a hundred bucks. I would take this over the small ones, even though the small ones are great. You're looking at a hundred, you know, basically a hundred bucks. So when you're looking at the heaters, think about that. This is a 10 by 26, as I said before. I'm looking at $200 if I buy two of these, which would do perfectly. If I'm only looking at the two small ones, I'm looking at over 320, 340 bucks. Okay, so another big thing you're gonna want, some people get it, some people don't. I wanted water and electricity up here. Okay, so I am roughly about 250 feet from our pool house. I was able to uh, connect my three quarter inch PVC thick walled up to the greenhouse and have it laid in. I have a pipe that comes right down this alley and you can look at the video right here where we talk about building the foundation and what you need. But I have a pipe that comes right down through here and then right about the halfway spot, I have a pipe that comes up right here. Is come down here and look at this. I have a pipe right here and that's where I have my water supply. I also have another pipe that goes outside uh, that I connect to. And then I actually took uh, a hose and split it here, a pipe. And I have one that's just butt ended over here. I have one that goes all the way down and butts in just if I need it, okay? So for my PVC pipe, and then you have to rent a trencher, okay? So the trencher was about 125 for the day. I trenched that and then for the pipe, the pipe was roughly about 150. So just to get water up here and then me connect all that piping itself, um, water was about $225 and that's if you run the pipe yourself and if you have the three fourths inch uh, PVC pipe. Okay, one of the biggest things that I've had a lot of people say they regret not having put in a greenhouse is electricity. I did go ahead and have electricity put in and I ran it on the same line right beside the PVC pipe that I ran my water on. Now I had a great guy in this area that I knew from another person uh, that told me, hey, you know my brother-in-law, I'll run your electricity for free. Super nice guy, that's a rarity. I know that you're not gonna have that often, but I was lucky to save money on that. But I did still have to buy the equipment. So he told me the wire that I got, I did not run that with a conduit pipe, the electricity in it. There is actually, I think it's called a schedule 10 or something, I'm not an electrician, something of that nature. Uh, but he told me what to get, okay? So a 250 foot roll from the big box store was $360, okay? That was a big hit for me, 360. So on top of that, we had to get all those supplies. Now, here's some of the things right here that I had added. And some people may say this is overkill, but I actually have an extra junction box down here, whatever I wanna add something down the road. And then we put in this protective cover and that cost extra too, obviously. That is nothing more than just, I have the capability, and this was his suggestion, I have the capability to put all my misters up in here and mist. I don't have to worry about electrical shorts or anything of that nature. I also have another uh, electrical cord going from here and going outside to where I can hook up my manure tea pump. So at the end of the day, uh, wire and supplies, you're looking at around $400. That's without an electrician, 
not many people are going to get a super cool dude like I did to do the work for me for free. So I would say $400 in electricity. All right, here's a big one. You're going to need a table to work on. And you can see I've got two different things right here. So I'll just jumble these together. I made a solid workbench, made it out of wood. I have obviously all this at the bottom. All of this, when you are looking to uh, have a place to build and to be able to work on, this was roughly about 150 bucks. Yes, I did treated lumber. I know some people said not to. Yes, I did treated lumber because it's humid in here and I'm not gonna wanna replace this ever. So look at roughly for you to just have the setup for something to work on, mm, roughly about 150 bucks. Let's couple two things together. I've already talked about the electricity. Let's talk a little bit about lighting, okay? You're gonna need lights in here. Now, I've seen a lot of people have these very ornamental, cute lights, and those are great in here. I went ahead and did some research, and I found these really killer lights right here. Okay, now this is six lights. The greenhouse is 26 feet. The line of, the, the line of lights is 22 feet. So we spaced those out. These are LED, they're gonna last forever. They're $75, okay? And I had to buy a cord. You can see we'll flip them on. Is can you show them that? So there they are turned on. I run them a lot at night, but the problem is, is the cord is extremely short. So you have to buy extension cords and that goes into the cost as well. So 70 bucks, 75 for the lights, probably another 15 for a good quality uh, cord. And then I'm gonna bundle this in and show you this right here. This is something that you're really gonna wanna get. And you can see it's up tall. This is a hydrometer, uh, thermometer, uh, and some other things, but this is great. It is made by a company called um, Govee, or Jovee, G-O-V-E-E. -E. I'm gonna put a link in the bottom. That is all set up by Wi-Fi. I love it because I do not have to worry about uh, this place getting too hot or getting too cold. Okay, this is, it's completely set up on my phone. I get alerts and have here lately with the temperatures warming up by 10 o'clock in the morning. This is already up to 90 degrees in here. The heaters cut off, they're on a thermostat set at 60. So the thermostats will cut the heaters off and then in a matter of two or three hours, this jewel in here is already up to 90 degrees and I come and open the windows. So that's another thing on there, 40 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. Here's one of the biggest expenses you're gonna have, okay? A greenhouse, most people have one, is to start seeds and all of that. As you can see, I've got all of my seeds going. We got a lot going on over here. I've got my rosemary and my tomatoes and all that. All of that costs money, okay? You're gonna need to get trays. You're gonna need to get heating pads. You know, I get these heating pads right here. When I didn't have the greenhouse, I just used one of these small seedling heat pads. These aren't expensive, $19.99, okay? But this only holds one of these, as you can see. If you're gonna wanna really do something, I learned very quickly, you're gonna get a bigger pad. So this kind of goes into that accessory package. This is a 48 inch, it's a Procate Pro, which is really good seating mat, okay? This is a, a 48 inch. You can get four trays on here. These are $35, I've got two of those. One will last you about a week, and then when you really get into it, you're gonna want another one. So I got two of those. That's just the little things. I'm, I'm showing you now some little, little things people don't think about. Trays, okay? I bought a ton of trays to save money. Had a good friend of mine come over and he said, don't use the flimsy trays. You need to go to Bootstrap Farmer. Uh, I'm not endorsed by them, so I'm not saying that, but if you are gonna get any trays for your greenhouse, Bootstrap Farm, I'm gonna put a link down below. Bootstrap Farmer, um, again, is the best. I wasted some serious money on just getting trays and things. You you just don't need to go to anybody else but them, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion. Their stuff is fantastic. But you're gonna to have to buy those as well. And you can get different trays, and you probably have a lot of that stuff as it is. You're also are gonna need little things like Take Root, Root Boost, um, you know, I've got, you know, my clips, I even use these in here. That's, that's a big thing. Um, little tiny things that you're going to use. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need all kinds of little things like that, that you don't think you're going to use. You're going to also need 
right here, you're gonna need a really good sprinkler, okay? So I keep mine on shower, but um, I think this was about 20 bucks off Amazon. But the mist feature on this, I say that because you're gonna wanna miss this stuff and you're not gonna wanna put a power load. So you wanna invest in a really good nozzle. I'm getting ready to get another one. But that's another good thing right there. And I can probably put a link below if I remember in the bottom for that as well. It's the little things that you're gonna need, all your little pots. You know, you're gonna need a, a tray here. That's, you know, 10 bucks. You're gonna need something to store your vermiculite in or your perlite, you know, you've gotta have three or four of those. All of this stuff that you have, you're going to need long-term. You know, here's my perlite, okay, that's another thing. So I know a lot of stuff I'm talking to in the video about may seem like, wow, and you're saying, I don't need all that stuff to start out. You don't need all of it, but you need most of it. And this video is really to tell you not as much of, this is what you need up front, it's to let you know of the hidden cost of what some of this stuff cost because as I said earlier in the video, I did not know that it was gonna cost this much. Okay, we're not gonna talk a lot about this. I just wanna show you the foundation, okay? You can do concrete, you can do cinder block, you can do all those things. Planter recommends six by sixes. If I'm buying a product, I'm gonna go six by sixes. I can recommend it. I think it's brilliant, but there's two things you have to look at. And I'm gonna put a, a put an ad, a, put a, um, a piece right up here that's gonna show you a little bit about the, the uh, foundation and what we did and how we built it. But the foundation with the six by sixes and all of that combined, 600 bucks, okay? $300 for the gravel that went underneath it, which formed the foundation underneath the wood, and then roughly around 600 for all the wood. That's six by sixes, 20 feet, 26 feet long, 10 feet wide. Um, that's two by sixes underneath. All of that stuff combined, uh, you were looking at $600. So that's another thing you have to think about. These are all, the foundation has to be done. The gravel on the bottom has to be done. You know, you don't have to have water and all that, but you have to have this. Okay, one thing that you're not gonna see in here, because as you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie, is it's blistering cold. I think it's supposed to get down to 26 tonight. But you are gonna need some fans, okay? Now, one of the greatest things about this greenhouse is it has a vent window that you've seen in the video that allows things to be able to, the air to be able to come in and out, okay? You're gonna want two fans. You don't have to spend a lot of money on those. I've got a couple of friends that they didn't buy anything industrial. All they did was they just bought some box fans. I think they're nine inch or 12 inch box fans that you can get off of Amazon. And they just hung them from the roof and plugged the wire in and they had wind coming in from one and pushing out the other. So you could do that. I think you could probably get away with two fans or I'm planning on two. Uh, for well under 30 or 40 bucks and they actually hook up to the thermostat I talked about in the heater um, You just unplug the heater put that away Plug in the fans change the temps and when the temperatures get up to 90 the fans kick on and that's it 50 bucks max for two of those those are gonna very much be needed I had no idea a greenhouse would heat up as quick as it did I'm talking about it being 30 degrees outside here in the morning when I leave and by 10 o'clock, my alarm is going off on my Govee that is basically saying, hey, um, it's 90 degrees in a greenhouse. And a, you do not want to have it to where it's going to uh, burn up in here because it gets hot quick. I hope the video has been informative. I'm really just trying to let everybody know out there that as magical as a place this is, I absolutely love my greenhouse. At the end of the day, if you're a budgeter like I am, you have to pay attention to all the costs that go with it. That's why I'm trying to put these videos out to help. Another thing that we've got to look at too is look at what is happening in the world. And I'm not gonna get on any type of platform. I'm just saying that when I budgeted for all of my equipment and everything that I had, a lot of things happened in the country and now we're paying a whole lot more for what we had. So the wood went up. My wood was budgeted about $425. It was 600 when I was done. The electrical wire, okay? I wanted to get it, I budgeted for it. It went up about $50 and we couldn't get it for forever. So we had to put off building the greenhouse for about a month and a half. The gravel, the cost for the gas, when you know gas went up, 
to have the grass, the, ga the gravel delivered, ended up costing me about $100 more. So take all of that into consideration and think about wherever you live, where your country is, what is going on with the economy because you don't want to get it and then have the prices go up and you be way out of budget. I hope the video was helped. As I said earlier, I'm just trying to help everybody to understand the costs that go on with this. Any questions and comments, please leave them below. Give me a thumbs up. It helps my analytics. And have a great week, and we'll see you soon.